Slipways is a puzzle game slash strategy. You connect planets, basically organizing and architecting a network of, of uh, transportation and trade channels uh, across an entire galaxy. Now, I've played this a bit on stream and the matches last for a long time. They can last for a long time. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna get in, we're gonna do a standard run. I'm gonna start a new run here. Uh, continue save game now. Nah, I was reasonable. I just started. I was like, nah, I'm good. Uh, let's delete that game is fine. So standard run. They have endless run, no pressure to have rank run, which you have to qualify for in order to actually participate with four stars. I've not I think I've got three stars and that was it. Uh, and campaign. I've not done the campaign at all. The campaign is probably neat and everything. You're gonna be playing it for the standard run, okay? That's why it's called standard. So here's where we're gonna select using a random seed <laughs> our random seed generator this is where we get to choose where we're gonna go you can also trade the seed or, or give uh, edit the seed and you know share with other people if you found a good one uh there's forgiving reasonable challenging tough we're gonna play on tough today because it is it is tough uh these are your council members basically think of these as quest givers uh that you can uh basically complete tasks for and level up your loyalty to them or their loyalty to you friendliness levels all that good stuff um you'll see when we get inside i'm gonna go ahead and choose a couple of them i'll explain what why i chose these ones uh and it's because i've used them a bunch of times so i'm relatively familiar with what they offer <laughs> so right here is all of the uh this unlockable science things that you can do with them um and here is a random selection of perks, okay? Um, choose random races and perks, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> so so there's there's more than just two perks per, because uh, for example, this guy, I've, I think I've seen like, totally different perks from this guy. Um, and this one, I know for a fact, I've seen a different set of perks uh, for the Silithids. All right, Silithids, yeah, Silithids, close enough. Silithid, <laughs> fucking wow, everywhere. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a couple of these perks. You'll see these science things as we get inside and start talking about the game. Uh, see, in mines, so you, so you can establish mines at 80% of all lava, desert, and ice planets, which typically do not have a place you can put things. You guys don't know what that means yet, so I'm just gonna try to pick a couple things that make a lot of sense, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the game. Let me see, reduce build time. Uh, let's get an additional the start of the scenario. That's kind of nice. Let's see, and deliver. Uh, and get eight. Hmm, let's do, oh, I can only choose one of each. Yeah, that's right, okay, we'll do this one. Luxury, cool. All right, so. This is our working area. It will expand as we grow. The first thing you want to do is go and throw out a, a probe. Notice that it's pulsing. Notice that there's one just out of reach. Let's try to slide this boy down there. Try to get it right on that pulse. Ooh, yeah, we got them all. Yes, that is uh, part of the game as well. Like, yeah, if you can actually miss, uh, misclick or mistime it, your click, and you will not get the full reveal. So I have a number of things that are revealed here. We're going to talk about them first. There is the Clemmer. Uh, they're all random names. Okay, so this planet here is a swamp planet. We have a primordial planet and we have a jungle planet. Uh, they Once you see all, all of these swamp planets pretty much look the same. Uh, there's like six or seven different planet types, maybe more. Um, uh, I didn't get a Forge planet, Forge world, which kind of sucks. Uh, those ones are kind of nice to have. But this is the asteroid. So the asteroid, you can click on it, and then the way it works is it will give you X amount of money per planet that you've colonized. So colonization, this is the most important part of the game because it's how you link things together. So I'm gonna click on this, and I say, hmm, okay, what does it offer? I can I can convert chips and food into people. I can convert bots into uh, food. I can convert people into soil and green. And then I can go over here and see, hmm, well this will take green and make food, hmm, and this will take food and make people, okay, wow, it's, it's kind of working out already, so let's say if you're just planning things, you're like, okay, that'll work there, and this will work there, and right click on this, right, that'll work there, okay, so, oops, oh, that's the wrong one, uh, we're gonna right click on this and go to, uh, right click there, there we go, so we can see already we have a nice little network going, right, this is good, this is how we want to start things off, we want to start things off with a network, now I have $97, Every single time I click on something, it's going to cost me some time. It is currently 11 months remaining uh, until the end of the year. And 25 years until the end of this run. We'll talk about that more as we get through this. Now we need to choose a start. Let's choose a start of this. Boom. That just cost me three months. It is now May. 
Let's go over here and activate this one. Colonize it. Boom. Also cost me another six months. So now I want to interconnect these guys. So I'll grab this, drag it over. It cost me six dollars and one month. Six space bucks in one month. It is now September. If I colonize another planet, it's going to be the next year. And one year would have passed. And I will accumulate one dollar. Notice that my planet exports... I'm sorry, I'm going to lose a dollar. <laughs> my planet exports uh, is three dollars. My planet upkeep is four dollars. Why is that? Why is that? Because right here... We see that this is plus one, one space buck, right? Over here, it's minus two. So why is it minus two? We click on it right here, zoom in. No trade, upkeep costs. Okay, so we need some trades. So we can get some money going in and out of this place. I need some water is what I need for this. So if I activate this, it's gonna be the next year. Not that big of a deal. We still have a long way to go. Uh, December. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. If I, if, wait, oh, wait, actually, let's go and click this and just reap that money real quick. Um, oh, it's the next year. Dang, I forgot, forgot that actually also cost me time. Everything costs time. All right, so here are my, my tasks. I choose two out of three of these for the council here, right? Discover eight new planets. It's super easy. We're definitely going to get that. And the reward is options are unlocked. Uh, car options are unlocked in events. You want this. We'll, you'll see why soon. So if you trade out between six different resources, this is so easy. Wow. Um, yeah, let's just choose the top two because that's guaranteed going to happen. Accept those tasks. You, you have to accept two of them. Um, and so we're going to do now, since we're already here, we're going to go click, click, click. And now, what, 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 what was that? What was that? Oh, okay, I missed it. Now we have a nice little cycle going. Uh, obviously, this needs chips. We'll work on that. But for the most part, we got a nice little cycle going. We have five, five dollars coming in. And we have one extra person and we have one extra food over here. Let's see if we get lucky over here and get some water. There's water on here. Look at that. And look what they take. They take people. Hmm. <laughs> so if we do this here, you can see already. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, it's, it's telling me what to do. It's like, yo, put this here, put this here. I believe you could also uh, middle click maybe. Yeah, you can middle click on the planet and it'll show you. Just hover. Middle click and hover. And it'll show you what connectors are available. It's kind of a cheat sheet, really, if you look at it that way. Also says, look at that. I can just trade in and out of this boy here. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. It wants me to do what? Okay. Yeah, in and out for food, totally. So I can use food to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. People to make. Well, hold on, what? What is this talking about? Food go out? No, no, no. We're gonna do. We're gonna do what I my, my way, my way. Dang it. All uh, right, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, you, 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 you. Bam. There we go. Again, still a nice little network. Um, this guy's obviously still suffering a little bit. Minus 2% resource shortages. Do I care? Yes. Why? Because that little heart represents your happiness level up here at the top. And it says here that my my number is decreasing by 1% per year. Remember oxygen not included when they would have a stress level and it would say that their morale or whatever is decreasing by X percent per cycle. That's exactly what this is. And what happens? What happens to a dupe when you get down to like 30% or whatever? They start tripping. That's right. They start freaking out. They're vomiting all over the place. They're destroying shit. They're crying nonstop. And what happens in this game when you do that? You get voted out early. The first couple of matches I did, I went, I made it to 19 years in. So I had like six years left and voted out. I just did terribly. Uh, on stream, I actually managed to complete a round, which is pretty great. Uh, I actually completed a, a few rounds, actually, so that's pretty good. So I felt like I was like, yeah, I'm getting pretty confident in this. And then I tried tough, uh, the hardest difficulty, and, you know, just regret, you know, just regret. So this is an ice ball, uh, but it has a little sign here that says, oh, you can make you can make some uh, some ore. Normally, this ice ball would just do nothing because you don't have the technology to operate on ice planets. So let's see what we have. We have an extra food here. We have an extra biomass here. Two extra biomasses here. You can see those there. Uh, and then we need chips over here. So let's see. What do we What do we want to solve first? Let's go over here. See if we can't get. Uh, nope, not quite. Okay, so we'll do this. Right now, what we're looking for is um, some chips, which is not going to be in any of these because the chips come from forage planets, which I would show you what they are if we could get one. Let me scoot over here. We can't get up. Oh, we get the whole lot. Bam. There we go. Oh, my God. Ugh. This is what's like playing on tough. It doesn't want to give me anything. Desert planet. Uninhabitable. This was basically a garbage throw right here. Okay. Well, let me see. 
What can I do here? Nothing. And this one, also nothing. Boy. Okay, if we get lucky. See, okay, yeah. And that water and stuff to make people. Oh, God, I don't need this. It's all useless planets to me right now. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, Jesus. So one month. I'm throwing away one month on this. Damn it. Not a forge planet. That's what I need. So, um, well, that kind of puts us in a pickle. So that means this is like never going to be satisfied unless we get lucky. Oh, we unlocked this, the event in the events. Well, you know what? It's perfect timing for that because, oh, well, we have something here, but we don't have any people. Oh, man. Well, let's just go. Maybe we should just give up on this side. What do you think? What do you think? Can we get both these guys? Let me see. Not a forge planet. Unbelievable. This game just hates me. Just hey, you know we're just gonna move over here. There's a forge planet. Finally, finally, a forge world, and it can make it can make chips. Did I start with? No, I did not. Okay, there is a perk that you could start with that is, I think, a a, a Forian's perk that will give you a couple of um, uh, slipstream things that let you connect two planets that are not next to each other. Uh, Obviously, you can't just do that. That would negate the whole reason of having these slipways, right? And so if you look at this, these slipways are designed so you can't cross each other. So you have to have sub slipways and then like uh, these like teleportation things and all this other stuff. So there are other options available for you out there. If you have a crazy network, then you just can't get a handle on it. But right now we only have four. <laughs> we only have freaking four. All right. So while I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and go across the top here real quick. Yes, these are all your different uh, council members. This is your empire size. It tells you how many planets. You know, so if I get to eight, then it's going to go up. So the current administ administration cost is zero per year. So think about that as you're growing your galaxy, your empire. It costs money to run things. I'm making bank right now, but that's not going to last. Let's see. Does anything have the lava? And you will take... You know what? This is great, actually, because you just need manpower, and then you'll make me these. Uh, I don't really have a place to stick those, though. Let me see. It will take more water to make to make more food. That's not going to help me much. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go drop another one over here. This is some bad luck. Bad luck, dude. Okay, this makes people... Okay, so not terrible luck. This makes people in, in exchange for slime. Oh, God, can you reach? Oh, wait, why? That's because I'm broke, right? Oh, it's because it's not designated. So here we go. Boom, we'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. Now, now we have some awesome trade going on. Now we have people. We can take those people. We can strap them over here. I can't afford it. Oh, I'm broke. Uh, let me see. I could break this real quick. I'll lose out on uh, an extra six credits. I could break this. What's this planet? Oh, no actions? Yeah, this, this is basically garbage. So cool. Oh, gosh, that took me over because it takes a month to do that. Damn, I keep forgetting. How much does it take away? We'll find out in a moment because I got to connect these bitches. Let me see. What are you going to make for me? Hmm. Well, this is definitely going to go over here. So you might as well get that started so we can start making some money. There we go. It wants water, too. God, so much. It doesn't necessarily need water. What it's saying is that if you add water, it could give you more output. Right here. Add water. Do do do. We'll make you more. We'll make you more. That's pretty much it. But I don't need that much ore. Right now. Anyways. Um let's see. So ore to something else. So I have a few things. Chips, bots, and goods. But I don't know. There's nothing that I can connect to, because remember, I can't draw a straight line through another subway, slipway. So I have to find out what nearby takes what, so that way I can make blank. Um Hmm. How many years do we have? 22 years. We still have a long time. So let's do this. Hit that. No access available. Okay. And it's more... Gosh. I mean, it's, it's just... A, damn it. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, people. People to other things. And what's this one? People to... Or... Well, again. Um, but... People to bots. Bots to goods. Goods come in handy eventually. If we could find something that would actually take that. Maybe we get lucky over here. Oh, it's just out of range. Nope, not quite. There it is. Oh, I missed that one. See that? See that? Ah, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Are we getting somewhere? Nah, not really, but... But! <laughs> Let's just throw this out here. 
Oh, another forge. It was right here the whole time. <laughs> another forge world. Okay, let's see. Nothing. None of my plans require goods right now. So that's... Oh, this one over here requires goods. So you know what? Maybe we could just package up some goods, put it there. That's a good spot for it. Actually, that would be a good interchange there between this... Uh, oh, sorry. Goods to... So, uh, 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 or to goods. And then I can't afford... I'm broke. Of course, I'm broke again. <sighs> of course. Do I break it? Do I break it? Now, let's just go next year. We gotta speed things up, man. So, notice it was September. It was September when I when I fast forward to the next year. Well, that just ate up the rest of that year. You can't, you don't get paid by the month. This is not rent, you're not a landlord. You get paid annually. So once you run out of money, you just gotta just chill until the next year. So here we go. Uh for there, for there. God, this is gonna make so many, so many good. Look at this. Oh, this is great. Fantastic. Uh so you get two more ore producing plants to successful. We're really close with this one here. Uh, and it'll give me $60 and two science. We haven't even talked about science. Establish new trade routes for seven different resources. We will get there eventually, but we also don't have any silithid production or silithid options. So let's go ahead and do that. So accept test. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So I haven't explained what that is yet, but we will we'll get there once we figure out how to get resources to this planet here. Because <laughs> we're not finding shit anywhere else. All right, here we go. So... Look at this. This is maximizing this money-wise. Click on this. $30. Bam! 30 space bucks. H cost me three months to break that up. Noted. All right, let's see. You could take people and make stuff. You can. Hmm. Chips, as a matter of fact, which this thing needs to make more, more goods, which could go somewhere else, I guess. But it doesn't matter because we could bolster our economy by doing this. And we could split up this rock. So, ba blam ba blam Beautiful. What a beautiful trade. There are so many other facets of this. I'm just giving you guys a quick rundown on a single playthrough. Um, it's my look at my empire size is growing. Stocks go up only. Um, I'm giving you guys just a just a bear, just the surface. There, I mean, just gonna cover a lot of it. But once you get into all the different perks and how it's changed and the science and everything, like that changes a lot of of how you play. Like just just a lot. Let's see. So, we have three months. Might as well blow it on one of these. Forge planet. Water planet. God, there's the water planet. Okay, here we go. This is good? This is good? I don't have people that go over there, though. Do you make people? Do you make people? Do you make people? Of course you don't make people. Okay, here's what we gotta do, then. Let's, let's, let's pull back a little bit. Let's destroy this thing real quick, though. Next year. There we go. 36. I'm making $36. So I'm doing pretty good so far, but I have some extra resources that I need to turn into something else. So I need to figure out how to turn resources uh, into something else. I just said that. So we're going to go here, click on this, we'll click this right here. Boom. It's next year again. Um, and we're going to connect this. This is, a, this is a laboratory. Cost me $5 upkeep. Is your admin price is kicking in, right? Where are we at right now? Admin cost $8. God damn. We have one extra bio, two extra biomass here. We're going to connect that one of those there. Now I am generating science. And the next year, I'm going to have plus one science. Oh, <gasps> wow. But I need more than that. I really need more than that. So I need to find another location that has more people. This one's tapped out. This is this is not going to get any bigger. This is max maximum, right? Just firing and firing on all cylinders. But I need more people. People, 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 people. Let me see. This would make more people if I could find some chips, but I can't find any freaking chips. Do you make people? You make people out of water and... Mm, let me see. Will you make more if I give you what? More people. I'll give you more people when you make more resources. That's going to help me, Andy, because I can't make people. This thing's maxed. This was like playing on tough, man. Although it's kind of fun. Kind of. This is kind of fun. Uh, let me see. I could fire this up and... Uh, well, that's going to make nothing with nothing. This will make with food, but I don't have any food anywhere. Should I just make this and let, let them suffer? Well, I can't get it over there. What am I talking about? Uh, and, uh, no, it's another biomass. Hmm. Okay. This guy will make water. Or take water. Ah, here we go. Okay. This might be a little bit easier to, to finagle. <laughs> Let's try. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's just garbage. And another forge. Okay, now I'm tired of forge worlds. <laughs> they're, they're not going to help me progress right now. So let's go ahead and we can't really beef up our current setup here. Oh, here we go. Chips. Okay, wait, there's a people over here. So what I'm trying to look for is another place to put a another place to stick one of my you can make people. Hmm. 
sacrifices must be made. Um, I'm looking for another place to stick one of my laboratories. So, I'll just put this, um, I guess just here. There we go, I connect these guys. It's now generating two science per year. We want to rack that up because we want to get some science together as quickly as possible. Um, they want ore, which I believe I could get from here. It needs people, but you know, like, fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Will it reach? It sure will. That's the, wow, I can't believe that actually reaches. Look at how, that's out of range right there. That's out of range. It's, it's basically two tiles, right? Two, two grid squares. That actually worked. Unbelievable. And they're exchanging people too. Uh, they're suffering, of course, because they don't have the food, which we could probably relieve them of that if we get lucky over here. Hey, look at that. Makes food with bots. Oh, guess what makes bots right here? Ruby Doo. Guess what makes Ruby Doo? Ruby Doo. Oh, Warframe's never gonna leave me. Let's go next year. Okay, here we go. People to that. We're gonna get people from the... Big signal. Hold on, let's get these guys. Okay, you're nothing. God, that was, that was really a trash throw right there. Also a trash throw. Whoa. Whoa, this game is really, really trying hard to, to, to make me unhappy. Um, oh, wait, I can get some people if I... Hmm... If I run this to here... And then I run this to here... Not calling... Oops. Run this to here... Oh, gosh, I need money. This is the best right here. Yeah, take this. Okay, connect that to that. Not calling it. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Um, and you want you to make uh, bots food. And then bam. Do I have enough money to connect? Yes, I do. Oh, just barely. There we go. $28 coming in. And we could go and break this up. Breaking that $18. Dang. So now we're just suffering what? We're just suffering a little bit of uh, lack of dudes. There's dudes right here. But we can't get there because it's obstructed. Um, there are relays that we might be able to science. Let me see. Let's take a look at our science here. Uh, economic zones, mineral seeding, deep drilling, freezer system bots, brain machine air fryers. Okay, it does not look like we're going to get anything like that. Slipstream relay. Okay, so here we go. If we can make our way down here, I, if we can make our way down here, I'll be very surprised. But we'll see what happens. Um, let me see. What are we, I got 17 years left. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have to like pull up and see how long, how deep are we into this video already? Because this is not gonna work. If let me see, uh, we started this. Uh, wow, we're already 22 minutes in. 22 minutes in. That is insane. This is where we're at right now. So you know what I'm gonna do. So it's been like 20 minutes <laughs> and I have finally reached uh, towards the end. I'm in the last 30, 32 months of my run here. Uh, I'm actually surprised I made it this far. My happiness has dropped a little bit, which is fine, as you saw a little bit maybe in the time lapse there, um, that I was really mulling over some decisions to make sure I was doing the right thing. Uh, and of course, doing a lot of undo. Uh, so one thing that I didn't point out yet was that if you go and let's say if you do some stuff like, you know, this and then you do this and all this other stuff and you're like, damn, what, I, I made a mistake because I shouldn't have done that. You can hit the undo button and you could go back as far as the last moment that you discovered a new planet. So you drop dropping probes and everything. You can't just drop a probe and be like, eh, I'm going to undo that. You can't do that. It stops you right there because you've already discovered something new. So there's one other thing other thing that I want to show you guys. I have, first off, I have $9, $11 coming in, so I'm not doing well um, in the money department so here we go let's see um, I could rebuild it cost 30 I don't I can't I can't afford that or scavenge anything useful get 38 so this is this is why you get good with the council because the council will um, 
unlock these abilities for you. So if I didn't do any of those tasks at the beginning, then these would both actually be lost and uh, are locked and I would have to just leave it alone. So there you go, get $38. You could typically just like sell it for parts and just get credits. So it's not that big of a deal there. Um, so let's see, I have uh, $41 now, which is a good amount for, for just trying to, you know, last minute save the day here, which is not gonna happen. You're not really, uh, you're not, in, in standard mode, you, if you make it to the end, then you did it. You know, that's a win. That's a total win. Uh, if you don't make it to the end, then obviously that's a loss, whether you're voted out for some reason or, or any other reason, right? Um, oh, look at this. I found a pretty good chain here. Uh, if I can afford it, I think I can. Let me see. So you make that, and then you make uh, goods, and then it gives you $28, so I'll go ba-bam, ba-bam, and then connect that to that. See? Lucrative lucrative doing well look at that so let's see we have 21 dollars coming in with 22 months remaining so we're again every mo every every uh action costs some kind of time uh i have people over here just floating around not doing anything but i don't really have a lot of things like interconnect you see we go over here um i was building out this way and i basically just gave up because i just kind of ran out of stuff i could do uh it's a lot this is hard mode okay like the game on easy mode is uh, obviously a lot easier um on hard mode they really punish you for a lot of shit. <laughs> they really do uh, okay so i want to trade three months for six credits yeah, man another one three months six credits i only have 22 left let me see what what can benefit the most here. So at this point, what I typically do is I go through and I look at any any interconnected things that I could change. Uh, I can't afford any new science for this, but this isn't it's not really useful right now. Uh, notice that we're at tier one, tier two. Once you spec into if, when you when you start off, you're at tier zero and tier one, and once you uh, put two points into I, anything in that those first two tiers, it moves the window forward. So now I'm in tier one, tier two. So I can't get anything in this tier one anymore. You just make too much science. You know, you just build too much science, so they can't have you just basically you know maxing out everything on the first tier, right? And then it's going like that. You just generate too much damn science at this point. Um. But, uh, yeah, dude, uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and throw a little probe out there. Wait, that's only one month. Let me see. No, we've got food right here. That food can be turned into nothing, man. Wait, bots. Hold on, bots. What can we do with bots? Bots to, ooh, to food. To, or sorry, bots to, um, uh, water and that would make food. That doesn't feed anything, though. You guys make chips. Do you make people? You do. You make with food. Look at that. Okay. So we might be able to squeeze this out. Can't afford. Fucking nice. Let's go and find a rock to smash. This guy. Hulk smash. That'll give me enough money to afford this. And then I'll have $11 coming in. Oh, skip to next year. Oh, man. That's it. <laughs> So again, you know, it's not it's not a loss and I can actually go back if I wanted to and I can undo a lot if I wanted to I can undo quite a bit and then be like, okay, you know what? The whole thing was just a bad bad idea. Let's go back. Like, the whole thing was a bad idea. Now this is a good idea actually. This is the right thing to do. Um, but if you want, you can go back and you can make a few more decisions and you could, you could eke out just a little bit more. Just a little bit more uh, uh, points. A few more points at the end. But it looks like it's uh, it's pretty much GG here. Uh, playing uh, playing on the lowest easiest difficulty level, like I said, it's 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 a completely different story. Like you're just you're just basically cranking through um, planets and just having a good time for 25 years, <laughs> and then you retire happy. You know, here it's kind of like oh bankrupt, uh, all this stuff. Um, but yeah, we have to we have to make it we have to make it to the end with some money. We don't want to bankrupt. We want to get that final score. So that's not a good ending necessarily. That one ending you just saw. Um, um, I'll show you once we get there. It might actually involve skipping a couple more. It might actually involve skipping everything. My last year here, 34. I'm not gonna get that plus 21 because we don't have another year. Yeah, because that's it. Um, so anything I do right here, let's see. As long as my, let's see, 186, 30, 50, 93. Wow, so my total upkeep is, see, 93, 53, 143, 173. Wow. Um, and my income is, so I can't really spend anything. If I spend basically anything that costs like $20 or more, um, then I'm gonna go bankrupt. So my best bet is actually just chill. And just look at this and just say, wow, 
I did amazing. <laughs> and I hit that next button. Run completes! Woo! Hey, I got a star. What's up? I get two stars? Just one star. That's fine. Hey, not too shabby. And you can take a screenshot and you'll add it to your screenshots folder if you wanted to. Uh, so, that is your game loop right there. Uh, like I said, it's a campaign version. Uh, there is easier modes. Uh, I wanted to show you the hardest that it offers right now because it is it is hard. Uh, this is, you know, Dorf Romantic comes to mind uh, because Dorf Romantic is one of those games that can be super chill uh, and then kind of get panicky towards the end, but for the most part, it's chill. This game has the potential to be super chill. Um, the easiest difficulty level is a fucking cakewalk. Absolute cakewalk. Uh, let me go well, forgiving. Same sector, right? We'll go boom. Uh, and then we'll choose you, you, and you. Sounds good. Start game. Uh, nah, let's just do. How about we just do it all random? There we go. Oh, Sunday knocked over the camera again. She really doesn't like that camera. Uh, if you're missing it on stream, guess what? You're missing it. Sunday's got a camera now. Uh, yeah, we'll hop in here and let's see. There's probably just like all kinds of beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, we got a forge planet already. Planet so close together. There we go. Let's see. Uh, you make this. You make that. Let me see. Uh, people, 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 and Forge Planet to make another Forge Planet. So already, already we're in like a good space here. Oh yeah, already we're in a good space <laughs> to make people uh, and make people make things that make more people. Hilarious. Yeah. Wow. So good. So it basically boom, and then bam, and then boom, and then we just go connect the dots. Connect, connect, connect. Oh, council tasks. So we'll take you, you. We're not really playing this game. We're just showing off a little bit here. How ridiculous this is. More people. Oh, let's uh, undo that real quick. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, dude. It's just, it's a completely different game. Um, and you just cruise. Everything is abundant. There's all, ki like, there's all kinds of resources all over the place. Cake. Cake walk. Absolute cake walk. I'm so mad. I should have played on this and just make this like a 20 part episode. <laughs> oh man well well folks that's it for today uh thank you so much for watching my name is mike b ak phony you can check me out aka mike b all the things if you like this video like it maybe leave a comment for the algorithm come on let's do it step away is available right now $16.99 kind of an odd price but definitely worth uh the money for sure um and a good game to get hooked on Top says you can get high and play this game. Uh, I don't see how that's possible. I feel like I need way too much brain for this game. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.